Hi, good morning. I am in San Diego for a copywriting workshop, and y'all, let's chat about this book, these notes, copy. Okay, so I am in San Diego for a copywriting workshop and something happened yesterday that had summarized everything that I have been talking about for months, for months. Is anybody else getting distracted by my jacket? I'm in my hotel room and I feel like I'm a disco ball. Let's dive into the five barriers that stop entrepreneurs from starting a business. Here's one thing. I heard these five things and I'm gonna add my own little synthesis and synopsis to each of them. Let's get this done in less than a minute. Number one, people stop themselves from being an entrepreneur because they say, who am I to share this? This is like grade A imposter syndrome. Like, who am I? And my response to that, when anytime somebody mentions it, it's like, who are you not to share the thing that you know? Who are you not to talk about essential oils? Who are you not about to talk about photography? Who are you not to talk about the thing that you are passionate about? Why not you? Number two that is stopping people is, what if I get found out? So oftentimes, we love comfort zones. And so people will say, the more I talk about something or the more I position myself as an authority or a professional, people are bound to say, he doesn't know what he's talking about. She doesn't know what she's talking about. And we live in this fear of getting discovered that we're not who we aspire to be. The only person who will stop you from doing the thing that you wanna do, the only person who has the power is you. So we can look out and say, oh, I'm gonna get discovered. What are they gonna discover that you don't know about yourself? Call yourself out for your own weaknesses. Call yourself out for the stuff that you don't know. I'll be the first to say, these nine ideas ain't mine, but I'm gonna share them with you, which actually leads me to point number three. People don't start their business or become an entrepreneur because they say it's all been said or it's all been done before. I don't know if you've ever felt like that. I know that there was a time in my business where I was just like, how can I talk about photography? How can I talk about social media? How can I talk about building a brand or marketing a business? And you wanna know what? There are three M's that empower you to stick out. So even if M number one, the message is the same, right? So even though I am saying the same thing that somebody else had taught us in class yesterday, that the message is the same, the messenger is different. You might wanna hear something from me or you might wanna hear something from somebody else and we could be saying the same thing and you could be saying the same thing as somebody else, but you, as a messenger are different than your message. Here's a third M, is the medium. How are you sharing this content? Like I'm creating a video right now, but I could be creating a podcast, I could be doing a blog post, I could be doing an Instagram post. So here's the thing, even if you are here and you're talking about something that has been spoken about since the dawn of the ages, let me tell you something, baby boo, the message could be same, but the messenger could be entirely different and the medium in which we are sharing it. Boom, yes and amen. This is reason number four why somebody won't start a business. What will people think of me? And you wanna know what I say to that? Somebody else's opinions of me don't pay my bills. People's likes on my photos, they don't pay my bills. Happy clients do. I do not care what people think about me, my decisions, or my business. The only people I am beholden to or I care is who can I serve so extraordinarily well that they love what I provide for them and they continue to come on back. And anybody else who does not fall into that category, I cannot bear the weight of their opinions because it just doesn't matter. Does it hurt my feelings? Yes. Do I want you to like me? Yes. Do I care if you do? No. The fifth barrier to why entrepreneurs do not start a business is they ask themselves, will anybody listen to me? And the temptation is to think like, no, no one's gonna listen to me. But you wanna know what I say in response to that? People will listen to you, you just have to find them. How hard are you going to work to find your tribe? Y'all, show up online, join Facebook groups, use Instagram hashtags, hop on LinkedIn, find your tribe on Twitter. Whatever you have to do is to, you know that the message that you have to say, the product that you sell, the thing that you create, the personal brand that you're creating is meant to do something in the world. All you have to do is find the people who that message resonates with and create it on the medium that they prefer. All right, okay, I hope this helps.